Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. I have absolutely been loving this game and going by the comments, many of you seem to really like this game as well, so we're going to play it a bit more. Um, today, we are hoping, we are hoping that we can use this one right here. This is our Habitat Builder. We have finally got the Habitat Builder, which means that, that we should be able to construct ourselves something really, really awesome. But what I'm going to do first is I'm actually thinking I'm going to look around, try and get a few more bits and pieces. I have been told that, you know, Mr. Teeth, who lives over in the kelp over there, I think, or over that way somewhere, um, if I give them a fish, then they go and get things for me. Which I really like this idea, so we may try and do that. But I want to get a, just going to have a quick sort of uh, float around first. I want to try and get a couple more um, of those, what do you call it? It's the one that I just picked up. Literally just picked it up. Um, you know, I honestly can't remember what they're called now. What are they? Um, it's been so long since I played, like, you know, four days. I've, I've, my mind has gone completely blank. i just seen the name of it then, and I still can't. Hang on. Hang on. Bladderfish. I need bladderfish. I want some more bladderfish because I need water. I need lots and lots of water. I don't have very much. I've got two bladderfish. I've got two water. It's not enough. There's barely even enough to quench my thirst this time round. So we're going to go and we're going to try and grab as many of these little beasties as we can. Um, and I think you can like you can get an aquarium later and you can actually um, breed your own. So we'll be able to breed like an aquarium full of bladderfish, which is going to make life a lot easier for us. I'm um, going to get that one over there. Um, a lot of people have been saying, why have I got so many of those, um, oh, acid mushrooms? Why have I got so many acid mushrooms in my storage when they're all outside? I don't need taking up all my storage, but I know, I know, I know it's taking up all my storage space. And I will, but I'm using them up, but I figure it didn't really matter because I'm using them up so fast at the moment. I'll just kind of leave it and then I'll, uh, inventory full. Oh, this isn't good. Um. But I know what I can do. If I go like this and I drink those two Vital bits of water, that I can go and get just two more bladder fishes. There's one. And there's another one. There we go. Come here. Come here. Got you. Nailed it. Right. Now I can head home. I need to make a battery because the power is only half on this one. But our main task today is, well, not only are we going to try and find, we uh, try and build a habitat. We do want to build a habitat today. This is one of our main tasks. The other main task is... Um, let's turn that light off. That's awfully bright. Uh, yeah, our other main task is that I would like to get some, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, that's probably all of those, but yeah, what I'm, uh, I'd also like to try and get some more blueprints, so we have to go out and we have to, um, explore everywhere and try and find them. There's a load of water that we've got now. There we go. I've got masses and masses of water. That ought to keep us going for a little bit. So I'm going to have that one, and I have that one, so it takes up to 96. I got a load of titanium here, which is what we need to use for building. I got one lead there. Cave sulfur, we don't really need a lot of at the moment. So if I just take a look in here, uh, copper is something I don't have at the moment. I want some more copper. So if I just put one of those in there, what else have I got in the way? Floaters. I uh, don't think I really need many floaters. If, uh, food plus 12, the Gary fish and the boomerangs. Let's eat some Gary fish because they're taking up a bit, um, some space. And I think they're one of the lowest ones for food. Uh, I think peepers are the best ones. We've got an empty battery there. I'm not sure what to do with the empty battery. I'd like to do something with it at some point, but I'm not sure what to do with it at the moment. I've got another egg there. There's two of the Those are those exploding things. I'm sure of it, so I don't really want to be keeping those. I've got two lead there, thus to make the lead base for the habitat, so we'll be using that in a minute. Um, nothing else there at the moment because i got the three. I've got the Gary fish. Right, let me just have something to eat. There's the last Gary fish right there, and uh, I need to come out of there so then I can actually eat said Gary fishes. Uh, there's food plus 13, H2O plus 5. Oh right, I didn't realise it increased your um, peepers. They do. So, peepers seem to be the best ones for eating. Uh, so if I just eat all of these Gary fish a minute, I got one peeper there. The protein-rich eyeballs, highly nutritious. Right. That is everything all the way back up to top. It, well, I'm going to use that med kit so that my health goes right back up to top as well. And then if I just take another look in here, I've got space for one floater. We'll put that one across over there. 
And I'll go into the med kit thing and I'll grab that one and then that can start making another med kit. And we will go down here. And it's copper that I want. I don't have any batteries um, available at the moment, so I do need to make some copper. So we're going to go here. Now, we've got to remember through here that we've got two of those explodey things. Or well, there was. Oh, they've no longer come. They haven't come back. So the explodey things at the moment haven't come back to explode us again, which is actually quite good. I'm quite pleased about that. Those things... Those things do make me nervous because they pop out those clouds of um, nastiness and the, the nastiness really, really hurts. So I need to just have a quick sort of zoom around, try and find myself some bits of, um, is, is it the sandstone or limestone, I think, um, so that I can get some copper. So we'll have, we'll have a little zoom around looking for that. What is this? Coral shell plate. Have I actually scanned that one? You know, I don't know if I've scanned that one. I have. That one is all scanned. Well, see in here. There's going to be something nasty in here, isn't there? Or have I already explored this one? You've got to listen. You've got to listen very carefully for those things that explode out of... Well, they come chasing you and then they explode. And I really, really don't get how that is an evolutionary advantage. Oh, there's a piece. There we go. A bit of limestone. No, that's just titanium. I don't want titanium. We don't need titanium. We, we, I mean, we are going to be using a lot of titanium, don't get me wrong, because we're doing the, um, the habitats. But no, what I really want is copper, so that I've got a spare battery for this beastie. There's another bit. There's a piece of copper. Right, it's one. I wonder if there's a way to, like, set up, like, um, manufacturing of copper or... Um, bigger extraction of copper ore or something from water or anything like that. Is it, do they, does it advance like that? Because I believe, it, I mean, the game's been early access for a while. A lot of people have been playing this in early access. But I believe that they are still adding things to the game. So, you know, maybe they'll be adding stuff like that later if they haven't got it in already. It'll be quite interesting to find out about that. Because I don't really know very much about it at the moment. Let me continue on with my epic search. There's actually quite a few of them all along this outcrop over here, um, but uh, mostly titanium. Um, but I do have two copper, so I can make one. Um, I can make one battery. There's another one over there. Uh, oh, I thought there was might have been something to scan in there, but there isn't. Just grab that one. Oh, there's another copper. Excellent. And now I got to be careful that I don't run into Mr. Teeth. All right, have I got anything in there? There's nothing in there. But let me keep looking along this rocky outcrop here. There was. There was quite a few bits and pieces along here. I seem to have harvested all of them. That's a bit of a shame. Let's continue on this way then. If we just keep going along like this, we're bound to find some... Oh, there's another one. There's one. Another copper. Nope, that's titanium. I think I've run out of space now as well. There's nothing in there. Uh, let me go down in here. I do have to be very, very careful that I don't disturb something monstrous like that. There he is chasing me he's chasing me there's probably things that I could scan down there as well I need to get this guy a fish that's what I need to do apparently you can tame them you get them fish and you tame them and then they become your friend and you have a big toothy friend and quite frankly I think that the tooth toothy is probably much better as a friend than an enemy because he could make short work of me if he decides that he wants to eat me whereas if he's a friend he can help me out with all sorts of things like eat things that want to eat me you see how this works? I think this could work very nicely. I wonder what that noise was. Is this thing over here erupting? Um, right, have I got any... I have no room left at all. I got two coppers. I got a brain coral there. I would actually need to use that. Um, right, I'll tell you what. Let's go and get some oxygen. Let's go back over towards our base. And I can make a battery a minute and then after I've made a battery so that I've got a little tiny bit of space we will drop down and we will start fabricating our base I have a slight issue in that these are both full and I need two acid mushrooms to be able to make the copper or actually it's only one copper ore and two acid mushrooms to do the battery so I can do a few batteries right I have a couple of batteries and I've also got information I completely forgot about it. You know, we got the flattened battery. There is a battery charger that can be made. Some of you will already know this, and some of you, this will be brand new information. Um, but yes, there is a battery charger, but you need to put it in a habitat. So I'm not sure where I actually want to place my habitat. Now, 
I'm thinking that, you know, we could do it for, you know, right up close to this one and we just sort of build off of this one. But, on the other hand, um, maybe we want to build it somewhere else. Maybe there is another location that we want for our habitat. And I kind of like the idea of moving out a little bit. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be any way of looking at a map inside the game. There doesn't seem to be any kind of map option. Um, which is a real shame because the, the, the map um, that I sort of... You, you, can, you can look at maps out... Right, there's a load of teeth over there. I'm going to ignore the teeth. I'm not going near the teeth. I don't want to build a habitat near teeth. I'm thinking that we will build our habitat over close to this one to start with. Um, but yeah, there, there is a really cool map that you can go and look at. And it, it does look really good. It makes the, the whole area sort of um, look quite nice and, and look more alive. But um, yeah, there's not a great deal else you can do at the moment. Apart from going and Googling it. I can't show you on here. Um, can we move this stuff? Is it possible to like move this stuff out of the way? I, I don't think it is. Let me go. Oop, no. Right, see, I can't scan this stuff. I can't, so I don't think I can move it out of the way. I think it just kind of stays exactly where it is, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, there's a few bits and pieces over there. Um, ooh. That there might be something. There's boomerangs there. There's, there's all kinds of fish coming near me. I'll ignore those fish for a minute. And I'd like to build my habitat here overlooking the edge because I've seen some picture I, you know I did hear that you can like you can um, you can settle it down but then you can have it like looking out over the edge of stuff and that's the thing that I really like the idea of I like the idea of being able to do that now this here these have got these floaty things on them so you can actually move the rocks out the way like this I can shove it over there like that so that rock will go and float over there out the way and I don't need to worry and then I can use this pad right here to build my first bit of base. So let's just go up here. There we go. And right. Now, we come down here. And I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I want this one right here. And we're going to go for foundation. We've got the two lead. We've got the two titanium. Uh, I don't know how this works. How, how do you make it... How do you... I really have no idea what to do. Perhaps I should have researched this before I started doing it. Um, do I just build it like this? I don't want to build it up there. That's that's too high. If I bring it down here... No, that, that seems to be in the wrong place. Right, I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing with this, so I apologize if it's wrong. I think I can do it, and then I can move it afterwards. At least I'm hoping that's the case, because otherwise this is going to be awful. Let's see what that does. Uh, foundation. Oh, hang on. Construct. Deconstruct Q. Right, let's let's move that one. And, right, so we got the foundation. Hang on, I'll tell you what. Let's come out of there. And let's go to the scanner. What is this? Is this anything? I don't think this is actually anything that's on here. I think this is just a nothingness. So I do want to go. I want to go back to the power. I want to go back to this one. Foundation right here. Now, why won't you, you move up and down? I can, I can do that. I can move me around. And Q and I doesn't do anything. Um, right click does that. And then if I left click, it does that. All right. I'm just going to have to do it like this. I think this is the only thing that I can do. So construct foundation. Oh, you press and hold like that. Right. There we go. Press and hold. Found it. Ah, right. So it, it just puts the feet down. Like that. I didn't actually want it to be stuck out over like that. But I, that's actually okay. I, I don't mind. That's, that is all right. We can do it like that. So let's just go to the glider a minute. And we will see glide back up here. Now, I, I was told that this thing drifts around. Well, except that we've repaired everything on it now. So now that we've repaired everything, it shouldn't be moving. And I don't think it has. I think it's stayed still now that we've um, done the repair work. But before you actually do the repair work, it will drift around quite a lot. Which is not really a, necessarily a good thing. What happened to my other two boxes? Oh, they're over there. Is it drifting then? No, I don't think it is. They might be drifting. You know, I have absolutely no idea if they're drifting or not. Right, anyway. We need our next piece. So we've got that one on there. I want to go 
There to you. Right, so then I go like this and... Right, we've got compartment. L-shaped compartment. T, X. Glass compartments. We've got reinforcement. Windows. Porthole for your habitat. Um, Multi-purpose room. I don't have any rooms at the moment. I can't do that. Vertical connector. Glass compartment. Let's just go with a basic tubular compartment. Exterior. Oh, exterior modules. What's this? Base attached air pump. Solar panels. Interior pieces. Interior modules. Miscellaneous. I know it's miscellaneous. I, I For some reason, I always say miscellaneous just because I can. I have no idea why. It's, it's just a thing that I do. If it annoys you, I apologize. But um, there's not a lot that I can do about it because it's just... It's just what I do! Um, right, so an eye compartment is just a tubular, fairly simple one. If I, I'm going to get one of those. It's this X-shaped compartment. We can put it on either. You, I guess you can, like, plonk it anywhere you want. But really, you want to put it on a foundation. So we put that on there. And I will build that one. It is now completed. Minus one to base hull strength. Total now 11. If the base hull strength reduces all the way down... Um, this is a bad thing, apparently. So if you join more of them together, um, then it, it... So you get these reinforcements here. You've got reinforcement there. Um, increases the hull. Ooh, we need lithium for that. I have no lithium. This is not good. Uh, what else have we got? We're going to have to be a bit careful. So that reinforced habit foundation. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's go. Now the reinforced... Um, yeah, they do. you get reinforcements, you get bulkheads as well, and they can help you. So we may want to get some bulkheads. We've got that X-shaped one. I'm thinking four X-shapes on here will be a good start to it. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. I have no idea, but we'll soon find out. So we go for an X-shape over here, and I'll put that one on there. I'll join that one in, like that. And then I will do the same over here. Another X-shape. Total is now 10 on our base hull strength. And another one there, and then I'm going to do one more X shape on here. So we've got basic compartments. Oh, I've run out of titanium. Let's go and get some more. There we go. Let's take you. And I got, uh, did I have any titanium up in here? I don't know if I did. I'm pretty sure I got some titanium in these. Take a look. Yes, I knew I had some more. Got a load of titanium there. I got some gold. I got uh, lead, quartz. A creature egg of some kind. I don't want those. Right, what have you got in there? I think this one I've... Um, open storage. So i got glass and i got plenty of rubber. And i got a peeper. I might take that one with me because I may need some food. Right, now I want to go back down to this one. We can finish just building that habitat there. Oop, no, nope, I didn't want to do that. Finish building you. There we go. Right, you are... The total is now eight. Right, basic compartment. I can deconstruct if I do that. Can I go in it? How do I get in? Um... Oh, I think you've only got to... I think you've actually got to build a hatch to go in. So let's go back over to here and we go... Yeah, because you... Hatch provides access point to your habitat. That would make sense. I need some quartz for that. So we'll have to go and get some of that. Um, there. Yeah. Right. Let's go back in here. I've got quartz in here. I've got loads of quartz in here. And we're going to put a uh, hatch right on that end there. So we we'll go through, and then we go here, and we go hatch. So we can put a window on it as well. We're going to put the hatch right there. That takes two more titaniums. I think that's most of my titaniums. Achievement unlocked. Settling in for the long haul. Uh, I got three titanium left. Right. Let's go in, and I don't want to deconstruct. Enter base. That's what I want to do. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oxygen production offline. I have a power zero. Oxygen production is offline, which means my oxygen is not increasing. Uh, so let's exit the base a minute. It's quite amazing that that um, non-airlocked hatch right there is allowing us to go in and out of the whole base without uh, flooding it all. That, that is quite amazing. You'd think that you would actually need, like, an airlock space for that to, to work properly. Now, I want a window. I want to make a window on my base. So I'm going to go here. You've got a window right there. Porthole for your habitat. Um, sit. Something on an existing wall. I don't know what it's situated. I'm guessing it's supposed to mean. Uh, we've got an L glass compartment. i got 
I need glass. I definitely need glass. And I, I have glass. I can go and get some. Let me go to this one. I've got glass in that one over there, I think. And if I haven't got glass, I've got some quartz somewhere. I've got one glass and I've got two quartz as well, which will do for some more glass. Um, so there's one in there. Did I have some more in this one? Take a look. Uh, no, but I got some more quartz. That's useful. Right, we'll come back over here and we'll go up in there and we'll just check for more glass and for more quartz. Let's check it, take a look in you. Uh, salt, silver. I have no quartz here, though. Right. I got two bits of glass. I'm just going to keep... I think I'll keep that as it is for a minute. We won't worry about making any more. Now, deployables. I've got the grav trap. Uh, beacon. I don't want any of those. I'm just going to have a look for equipment and see what we've got. We've got pipes there, which I could actually use. Chain of pipes transport breathable air from a functional pump. So we may actually need something like that fairly soon. We've got a floating uh, device that pumps air into pipes. Acts as starting point for pipe chain. We may need to do both of those so that we can get air down into our habitat. I'm just having a look to see what else we've got. We've got the repair. We've got propulsion cannon. Ingredients unknown. Laser cutter. Ingredients unknown. We've got the habitat builder. Um, air bladder emergency flotation device. Repair tool. We will need a repair tool on our habitat. If we do accidentally make holes in the habitat, we'll, we'll need it as well. Um, and if we got anything in deployable, there's nothing in there. Right, okay. Let's go down and take another look. We're going to head... Where is it? Where is our habitat? It's over here. It's looking good. It's looking good already. So I would like to put a, um, a glass tube out on this one. Um... I don't know which sort of glass tube, though. I, I don't actually know. Maybe we go... We go with a, a straight glass compartment like this. Um, how do I turn it? Rotate... Oh. It said rotate bracket. Ah, that one. That bracket. That's the bracket that it meant, and I want to put that one on... There. There we go. Glass compartment. Ideal. Minus two. Okay, glass compartments are fairly delicate, and they, uh, they they can damage your base. And oh, I see. So it doesn't matter where it goes; it does. You do put these feet down, and then you can put like the base underneath it, and that will add to the strength of it. So if we can find some more lead, we'll be able to add some more strength to our base. But if I've got that on there, I wanted to put another one out on the end, but I'm thinking that's probably a bad idea right now. We've got the hatch. We've got a vertical connector. Vertical base connector. Do I need that for the pump? I want exterior base attached pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. So how do I power my habitat? Locker, wall locker, med kit, radio, fabricator. Oh, I can make a fabricator. That's, that's useful. Trash can, sign, exterior modules, uh, powers habitat, oxygen, generation and other habitat modules converts available sunlight into low power electrical energy. I can make that. I think it'd be a good idea if I get that and I put that on my habitat. So we want to put that one down. Ah, I see. So you can put it pretty much anywhere. Uh... Ah, right. So we'll put that one on there like that and I can Oh, I can rotate it round however I want. Oxygen. Right, that's great and all. I'm going to put it right there, and I'm just going to go up and get a little tiny bit of oxygen, and then we'll come back, and we can just finish constructing that one. And then I need to go, and I need to get a whole load of more materials, I think, so that we can do a bit more construction work. Let's come down there and construct. Build that one. Copper ore. There we go. Solar panel. Power restored. All primary systems online. Excellent. Power restored. All primary systems online. Fantastic. That is brilliant. Right, let's go take a look. I uh, I don't want to deconstruct it. Um, Your power is running out. Right, let's enter the base. Welcome there we go. Aboard, Captain. Ha <laughs> ha. Captain. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Captain. They know. Uh, apparently, if you put bulkheads in, that can also help. If I, if I got bulkheads in here. Let me look in here. Um... Interior. Bioreactor, alien containment, ladder, interior modules. Uh, I don't have bulkheads yet. Bulkheads are apparently the way forward. I mean, we've got this here, and 
But I don't have any lithium, and I don't know how to get lithium either. So that's something that I need to work on. Put everything away. There we go. Look at this. This is fantastic. I got my own base. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely brilliant. I am absolutely thrilled to bits with this. I want some storage. That's one thing I do want, is that in here I want storage. Um, interior modules, med kit, wall locker, small wall mounted storage solution, locker, large freestanding storage. That needs quartz and titanium. I don't have either at the moment. That is titanium. Well, so we just need a bit of quartz and titanium. We'll do that one. Aquarium, self sustaining aquatic habitat. I think that's what you put the eggs in. What we need to do is we need to go and we need to take this one and um, we need a bit of titanium and we need a bit of quartz so that we can get some storage. And then once we've done that, we're then free to go on and do some more bits and pieces such as um, like expanding the base a bit more and things like that. Um, I need to get some... What else do I need to get? There was something else that I needed to get. Uh, we, we do the storage. Yeah, I, I want to do the storage. I need more lead. I need more lead because then I can add some extra reinforcement to the base. Uh, let me just take a look here. Um, that one is their reinforcement. Oh, that's lithium for the reinforcement. So we, foundations, they they do actually work. If we put some more foundations down, that will help as well. So we're going to need to do that. Let's go over here. Power is only 16%, but we can also get a battery charger eventually. I know that we can get a battery charger. I've read about the battery chargers. Now, if I take a look at that one there if i scan that because i've already got it it just gives me titanium instead which is excellent and we've got sea glide fragment there that'll give me more titanium look at that that is brilliant so we, we can make use of this it's a free titanium basically that we can get from this uh i'm not going there's uh that's the other sea glide fragment so there's another bit of titanium there i need quartz as well i'm gonna have to go and get some of that in a minute um there's a counter there it's going to be another thing that we'll be able to add to our little collection. Excellent. We'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. Um, right, is there anything else? Doesn't seem to be anything else yet. What is this? No. Right, that's, that's everything. that I think we kind of covered everything on that bit. Is, an, is there any more wreckage around? Uh, there's a bit there. I don't think there's anything that we want. There's another grav trap fragment over there, which will get us a bit more titanium. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Explodey thing. Here he is. I should have known. Oh. What is that? I think that is a thing with teeth. It doesn't look very pleasant. Okay. There's definitely a thing with teeth there. Now, I came over here, it was this cl ah, there. Right, I was actually thinking of going in here, and then I thought, well, I won't for a minute, just because of those. Let's do that, and get him to chase me. Boom. <laughs> That's brilliant, as long as you know they're there. Yeah, see these things here, these eggs? I'm pretty sure those eggs from these nasty things. Right, I know that I got cave sulfur there, but I don't think I actually need to worry about cave sulfur at the moment. Um, and that is all of the nasties cleared out. So I'm going to leave the cave sulfur. But what I am going to get is this up here, this quartz. Thank you very much. And I'm going to look around. Oh, there. That's what I want. Limestone outcrops. There's some copper. Uh, it's lead that I want. I need lead. And I don't think that comes in the limestone. There's another outcrop as well. I can't remember what it was. I'm looking around. I see no more. Let's go. Uh, oh, there's something really nasty with teeth there. He's He'll come for me in a minute. There's quite a few things with teeth here. Let's just grab that. I'm just going to have to move quick, I think. I think this is the key here. Let's move quick. There's lots of quartz here. Lots and lots of quartz. Um, right, anything with teeth is now gone. Right, that's copper. And that is titanium. I'm looking round. I see more. Oh, that's lime, uh, copper there. But I'm full. Right. I'm also getting low on oxygen, so I want to come down this way. Well, it's, oh, 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 oh. That's those things. I have never seen them before when they're like that. Boom. <laughs> oh, those things are brilliant. I love them. I absolutely love them. Right. We're completely full. We need to exchange the power source in a minute. Oh, I'm all the way. I've gone a long way. 
I have gone a very, very long way. Right, let's um, exchange power source. Uh, no, not that one. That one right there. Power source. There we go. Power back to 100. And, right, I got loads of copper, but it wasn't copper that I needed, was it? Oh, I did get quartz as well. So I've got lots of quartz and I've got lots of copper. Uh, well, some copper and I've got lots of titanium. But it was... Or was it quartz that I wanted? You know what? Honestly, I don't remember. Let's just let's take a look. Power here. Uh, we had a new one here. We got this counter. I don't really know what we can use that for. Vending machine. That takes. We're, we're not interested in that. It's the. Uh, it was quartz. It was quartz that we wanted. That's ideal. So we've got we got enough to do a couple of those, and we've also got gold. So we can make a fabricator down there as well, which is going to make life a little bit easier. We could also put a radio in there if we wanted. I need to go and get the gold from one of those um, lockers a minute. So let's come out of there. If I go into this one, I drink a little bit of my water. Like that. And let's take you. Come here, you. Let's take that one. I'm going to need that. Right, I want to head back over this way. Now, in my chests over here, I've got some... One of those has got gold in. One of these over here has got gold in, which we'll be able to use to make the fabricator. Let's look in there, and there is the gold. Right, I'll take that one, and then I don't think there was anything else that I wanted at the moment. So we come down here into this one. We can go back inside our habitat. Excellent. I love the fact that we've now got our own base. It's brilliant. I wonder if we can make bigger rooms. Can you make the rooms even bigger than this? I, I don't know. I have no idea if that's a thing that you can do or not. We will eventually find out. So let me go on to... You know it would help if I didn't go too far? I want that one. There. Right. Uh, first of all, we want a large freestanding storage. And we're going to put that one right there. Can I, how close to the wall can I put it? There I can put it. But I, uh, I can't put it any further over. So I need to just press and hold to manufacture that one. There we go. So we've got a nice big locker there. It's a lot of storage space as well. That is fantastic. So I got the table coral. Let me not worry about that for a second. We want to go also, I want to make um, this and it's not that way. It's the fabricator. I want to make one of these. And we're going to put that one on this wall here. I think. No, actually, I'm going to put it on that wall. That wall right there. Up a bit. Uh, there. That is the perfect spot for it. We now have a fabricator down here. We've got everything. We've got storage. We've got a fabricator. There's one locker there. I wanted to make one more. I've got enough. I can make another one. I can put you in there if I want to. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to put you there. And then I'm going to just rotate you around a bit so that you're like that. And I'm thinking that this one here should be over the other side. I should put them either side. Can move you up that way a bit. There. And uh, let's put you down that way like that. So if I put you there... De I, yeah, I think that you've got to just deconstruct them. Right, let's put the brain coral sample in there. We don't want to be carrying that one around anymore. Um, so you, I need to deconstruct. Do I get everything back? Please tell me I get everything back. Yes, I do. Right, that is brilliant because that means that you could just move stuff around. That's going to make it a lot easier. So if I do there, I've got one locker there. Um, and then I want the other one. That locker is going to go right over here. And we will rotate that one. Go on. Let's put it, just, just move it back a little bit. There we go. Uh, about there, I think. That'll do. I think this one that I'm stood next to now is, gonna, is slightly in the wrong place. Let's move it. Oh, no. No, that's pretty good. I like this. I can get between them and I can easily access both of them. That is gonna. That is. That's perfect. It's absolutely. Let's, let's put some of those in there. Um, I'm gonna keep hold of that one for a minute because I'll want to do something with it in a minute. Uh, salt can go in there. I got loads of quartz. We'll do stuff with that in a minute. Right. It's night time. This is fantastic. This is actually working. All I need to do now is I need to get some lead, and I also need some water. Let's use our new fabricator. We go here into sustenance, and we go to water, and we will make some filtered water. I got one. That's all I can make of those. Uh, I got no food down here at the moment, so equipments. Um, I don't actually need to make a pump, do I? Because the the uh, this it 
does oxygen generation in here, so we don't actually need to worry about that. Um, it's just moving to an unpowered habitat, which we don't need to worry about at the moment. That's not something that's going to bother us for a little while. So there's none of none of that in there that I need to worry about. There's none of that that I need to worry. So it was in here. It was tools, propulsion cannon, laser cutter. Those two I want to be able to build sometime soon. And we've got the advanced wiring kits. We've got the wiring kit. Um, yeah. So I I need more copper. Basically, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to want to be finding a load of copper and a load of um, other things like it, and then we can get out of here. So lead. I want lead. That's going to be my, that's going to be my main priority. I think is to find some lead now. Let's go through here. Now I've already explored. What's that light on the end of there? Have I explored that? What is that? I don't know what this is. Uh, there's nothing to scan there. And through right, there's nothing there. Let's go over to this. Right, there is that one, which is a bit more titanium. Oops. There, scan. Scan it like that. So I know that that's a grab trap fragment, but it does give me titanium straight away, which is good. So I do want some titanium. Let's avoid that lot. There's a load of teeth over there. They can just keep playing with each other, and we'll ignore them. Now, oh, there. What's that? Um, that's a limestone. That's going to be titanium or copper, I think. That is a salt deposit there. There's teeth over there. He's moving stuff around. I want to go and get a fish, and I'm going to see if I can make friends with him. It's, going to be the, it's probably going to have to be the last thing that we do today, is we're going to try and make friends with that guy, uh, Mr. Teeth. So we will go over this way. Oh, there's, a, there's another um, bit of stone there. I want to grab that. Get some more copper. Excellent. Oh, sandstone. That's gold. Is that the sandstone the ones that I want? I think it is. There's a bit more copper. Um... Right, if I go and grab the peeper. Come here, peeper. That's what I want to do. I'm going to grab some peepers. Whoa, these things are fast. Uh, where'd he go? There. There is a peeper. If I can if I can grab him. Chase him, chase him, chase him. I got him. Right, I got a peeper. Right, so we've got that one now. So what I'll do is if I just go into here, I go... Um, I got an old cooked peeper. Minus 10 H2O. Protein rich eyeball, so I, I do actually want to consume that because I need the food. Uh, but they do go off pretty quick, don't they? It's not good. Uh, we're running out of oxygen. I want that one. I'm going to put that instead of the um, habitat builder for a second. We go up. I'm going to wait until morning so that we can see this a little bit better, and then I'm going to catch. Well, not catch. Then I'm going to go and try and make friends with one of those guys with teeth. I'm going to see if this can be done. People have told me it can be done. So, I'm, I'm taking your word for this, and I'm hoping that I'm not going to become lunch. I really don't want to be lunch. I like lunch. Lunch is nice. I just don't want to be it. Being lunch is altogether different to enjoying lunch. Do you see where I'm coming from here? Do you, can, you, can you see, can you, you, can you see the, 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 um, the difference between the two? There is, there's a very important difference between the two, and, and I'd, I'd like you to remember that, just for future reference. Any of your suggestions that result in me being lunch... Are not going to be. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to be grateful for them. You realise this, don't you? Oh, what's this? Have I got something new? Have a look around. Is there anything in there? Uh, <gasps> laser cutter. Uh, that one. Scan. There we go. Scan. Keep scanning. Excellent. Laser cutter fragment. Right. There's one. I need a few more. There's something strange and gassy coming off of that. Let's avoid the gas. Now. What else have I got? I need to find some more like that. If I can find some more of those laser cutter fragments, that would be really, really useful. There looks like a salt deposit. I'll grab that one. And then there was a Mr. Teeth up here. This is where he was. He was up on there. And he was carrying bits of wreckage around. So I'm assuming that carrying wreckage around is a thing that he does. It's his, it's his, it's his move. It's his thing. Every, everyone's got a thing. Every, every person... And very often, many, many creatures as well. They, they all have a thing. They have, they have a thing that they like to do. Um, and it would appear that his thing is carrying bits of wreckage around. And this may be to seconds. our benefit, from what I've heard. Oh, lead. That's what we need. So we need the sandstone outcrops. It's silver. Limestone gives me titanium and copper. Sandstone gives me lead and gold and silver. So this is good things. So I need these. Ooh. 
Right, I'm going to ignore Mr. T for a minute, and I'm going to go and get some oxygen. Light is coming back to the realms. So we can go up. We can gather up a bit of oxygen. And then we will go. Let's see if we can make friends with him. Right. Oh, what is that under there? There is something under there. Right, uh, there is Mr. Teeth. So I'm going to go like that. There, here, have a tooth. How do I give you the tooth? Um, is he friendly with me now? I gave him, I gave him a fish. The fish was there. Well, he's not attacking me now. I'm going to take this as a good sign. Okay. Are you my friend? Are we friends now? Do I only have to give him one fish, or do I have to keep doing this? I hope I don't have to give him lots more fish. I really don't want to. Um, the, the fish are mine. I like them. And also, it's it's a lot of work. I know he's a nice pet and all, but you can't really have a lot. You 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 just can't have deep, meaningful conversation with him. Uh, oh, there's a there's a piece over there that I want to get. Sandstone. That's giving me some more lead. That's actually good. I want lead because I want to be able to build another foundation. And then I got some copper, which is going to be good for building the computer chips and stuff. There's a bit more salt. Oh, where's the teeth? Is that teeth coming after me? I thought you were my friend now. I think he is. I think he's actually being friendly to me. Um, I'm going to just... What have I got? I don't have room to pick any of that up. I got loads of... I got loads of copper now. I got uh, masses of copper. I got some lead. I can build another base. Uh, another foundation thing. That's really good. And there is our base. There is our new home. I'm so pleased with this. This is actually really, really cool. That there is our new home. Let's take a look. Let's let's go in a little bit closer. Take a closer look. I'm going to go up and get some oxygen first. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in the next episode. I've no idea at the moment. We're going to continue looking around for stuff. I want to get this laser cutter. I've no idea what it does. So I'd like to get materials and I'd like to build one. I'd like to expand our base. I want to make a, I want to make a nice big base. I'd really like that. I'd like uh, tubes to come out. Tubes to go down. I want to have the base going right down quite deep. I think that would be really, really cool as well. Um, and yeah, all, all things like that, all sorts of fun things like that. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And if you enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.